We will begin by taking a complete medical history of your eyes and eye health. This is important as this gives Dr. Silverman an overall look at your eye health as well as ensuring that there are no previous issues that could affect your procedure. We will also assess your occupational and lifestyle needs as your work or recreational activities and needs can influence the vision correction strategy that is best suited to your needs. We will next perform a refraction on your eyes. Refraction is the ability of the eye to bend light so that an image is focused on the retina. We will measure your current eyeglass prescription and compare this to your current refraction. An infrared light not visible to you is directed into your eye by the auto refractor while you attempt to focus on an image within the machine's viewfinder. The auto refractor changes the magnification of the image until it comes into focus for you. This refraction is then fine-tuned using the Epic Refracting Lane. These examinations give Dr. Silverman an excellent baseline of the current refractive state of your eyes and help him in recommending the right LASIK procedure for you. Our next exam is the puff tonometer, also known as the air puff machine. This instrument measures the pressure within your eye without actually touching the eye. Dr. Silverman is ensuring that you have no glaucoma issues, a group of eye diseases that can cause blindness by damaging the nerve in the back of the eye known as the optic nerve. The Plus Optics pupillometer allows us to objectively measure pupil size automatically in dim and bright light. This instrument measures the pupil in the darkest environment possible for us to accurately measure its largest diameter. Your treatment plan can then be customized with the Allegretto Wave LASIK laser to accommodate for a large pupil while removing the least amount of tissue necessary to achieve your correction. Accurate measurements of your pupil along with a custom surgery plan will significantly reduce your chance of seeing halos and glare associated with night driving. We have one of the few orb scan corneal topography units in the state for corneal evaluation prior to LASIK. This state-of-the-art unit enables Dr. Silverman to measure both the anterior and posterior corneal curvatures as well as corneal thickness prior to surgery, an important factor when comparing results to other conventional topography units. A corneal topographer examines the curvature of your cornea, the clear covering of your eye, and provides a detailed colored map of the contour and shape of your cornea. Dr. Silverman will be able to tell not only from this test if you have any corneal disease, but it also helps him evaluate your cornea for the correct LASIK procedure to take, since in LASIK we are reshaping your cornea for clearer vision. Dr. Silverman will perform a slit lamp exam in order to ensure from his personal evaluation of your eyes that there are no reasons that laser vision correction would not work for you. A slit lamp exam allows Dr. Silverman to diagnose and monitor the health of your eyes, both inside and out, in order to help ensure that you, in fact, have healthy eyes. Dr. Silverman wants to be sure that you will receive the outcome you're looking for with LASIK. Following this test, both you and Dr. Silverman will have a personal consultation where he'll go over the results of the tests that have been done, as well as discuss any quality of life issues in regards to LASIK. Dr. Silverman wants you to feel free to ask any questions about your exam results, the procedure, and outcomes that could be expected so that you'll feel comfortable not only with the procedure, but also with Dr. Silverman as your LASIK provider. After you decide to have LASIK, a consultation will be completed, including a fully dilated exam, to ensure good health of the interior of the eye and retina. A psychoplegic refraction is the procedure whereby an individual's refractive error is determined while the muscles that control accommodation are paralyzed with dilating agents. This refraction is used to evaluate the degree of true refractive error and will be an integral part of the surgical planning process.